Oh, hey there. This is Dr. Evan Osar with Integrative Movement Insider. Happy Sunday. It is 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. Hope you've had a good weekend and are having a great weekend. I'm at, here at Evolution Fitness and Wellness. Yesterday, we did, did our two anatomy geeks, Jill and I, the, the two anatomy geeks. We did a series or an episode on the anatomy of the forward shoulder. How many of you work with clients that have the forward shoulder? How many of you work with clients that have that chronic tenderness in the front side of their bicep? Or maybe some pain that refers down the outside of the shoulders? Or maybe even some chronic tightness up into their upper back and or neck, that levator scapular trigger point. Many of us are working with clients exactly like that. Many of us, you and I as fitness professionals, have the exact same issue. So one of the things we discussed is, number one, the anatomy of the shoulder complex and what creates more optimal posture. And more importantly, not just posture, but how postural control or how the nervous system, the brain and spinal cord create optimal posture and control of the shoulder complex. For many of our clients that have the forward shoulder, we often hear things like, should we do twice as many pull patterns as we do push patterns? Hello, my friend, my best friend back home, Pete Rislow. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, Rahul from India. How are you doing, my friend? Long time no see. So that's a great debate, right? You know, should I do twice? As, should we do twice as many pulling patterns as we do pushing patterns with our clients? Because everything our clients do are out here in the front of their body, and people often assume, and many times incorrectly, that people have short, tight pecs, and which is true, right? However, they also assume that they're strong and pulling the shoulder down and forward. And there's a muscle that attaches from the backside of the pelvis, the rib cage, the thoracolumbar fascia, wraps up underneath your arm. And that's a very powerful muscle that pulls the shoulder down and forward. So that muscle, as you guys are aware of, anatomy geeks, is the latissimus dorsi. And for a lot of our clients, it's not just the pecs. And oftentimes, it's not even the pecs that's pulling the shoulder forward. It's actually the latissimus dorsi. So for our clients that have this posture, just doing more pulling ex exercises doesn't help them function out here in everyday life and get the shoulder forward where it needs to be to feed your face, to work on your cell phone, to work on the computer and do all the activities of everyday life out here in front. Now, I'm not, not saying that your clients don't need to strengthen muscles back there. I'm just saying they're not strong at pushing patterns either. And that's why oftentimes if you watch them do a push pattern, where do they go? They don't go from here and then push and keep their chest open or the shoulder open, what they do is they press and then they throw the shoulder forward because they're not strong. They're not stable in this position to be able to push and keep that shoulder in a good position. So obviously we talked about how to train more optimal scapular alignment and control. So we taught them how to get wide shoulder position, how to maintain this through pulling patterns. Let me show you real quick, quick demo from yesterday. So when we teach our clients how to row, it's not about retracting and depressing the scapula. It's Put the scapula back into a more neutral, optimal position. Obviously, you, you'll do your soft tissue release first. And then we teach our clients how to pull, how to row without pulling themselves into this forward shoulder position or this excessive retraction and depression type position. We teach them how to pull and stay open. So pull and stay open through the shoulder and the chest as they're doing their pulling patterns. Well, pressing patterns are basically just the reverse of that. We teach them how to be open and wide, and then we do a pressing pattern. And the important thing here, here's where a lot of clients go wrong. They, they can actually press okay, but what happens is as soon as they start bringing their arm back, bending their elbow, the whole scapula massively, massively, <laughs> massively, quickly, rapidly uh, retracts, retracts, and then they bring their arm back. And then the more they keep pressing, they're never getting the scapula to come around the rib cage and stabilize on the rib cage to protract around the rib cage where it belongs. So what we do with our clients is first we've taught them how to pull. Then we teach them how to stay open, push, get the scapula to stay. Now bend your elbow. Don't let the scapula move. Now the scapula should move. The scapula is moving, but we're teaching them to slow the rate of the scapula moving back into adduction. So Get the scapula in the right position, shoulder in the right position, press, control the eccentric phase. So here, I'm not fully allowing the scapula and the shoulder complex to retract. I'm maintaining that stable position. So protraction, come back to retract to neutral, press, come back, retract to neutral, not excessive retraction. Because that is oftentimes, like I said, where the scapula stays in too much retraction, too much adduction of the scapula. And now the client is just pushing just from their shoulder and they're just jamming that fe femoral head. 
<laughs> the humeral head forward on their glenoid fossa. And that's how you teach your client how to better control their scapula during pushing patterns. Because again, think about your client working out here every day. They need to learn how to bring their shoulders forward to protract the scapula, yet keep them stabilized. And that's where your clients are really struggling. And that's where not enough of us are teaching our clients how to do that and do that well. Too many of us have been taught to retract, depress, and hold them back there, put them in your back pockets. And now clients are like, well, I can't function in everyday life. I can't feed my face. I can't shave. Well, how do you do it? Well, then you throw your shoulders forward and now you're feeding your face. Now you're working on your cell phone. Now you're working on your computer. So we want to teach our clients how to be open and wide, get the arms to come back to front while still maintaining that open and wide position, allow the scapula to protract as it should and retract as it should, not excessive protraction and not excessive retraction either. Teach your client how to control the positions they are in most of the day. And that's how you become a go-to specialist. That's how you help more clients with chronic shoulder issues, neck issues, as well as that chronic bicep tendon issue, rotator cuff. Hello, Miss Maddock, Mrs. Maddock, my mother-in-law. <laughs> it's good to see you as well. I haven't seen you in a while either. And you'll become that go-to specialist for your current clients. And so many clients will reach out because they're looking for someone just like you. I just had somebody call me up the other day to do a Zoom session, chronic scapular issues, chronic neck issues. He's seen a chiropractor, he's seen physical therapist, no change. And now he's finally learning. We're, we're teaching him how to control scapula. And he's finally getting it after just three sessions, and this is all via Zoom. So I know this information works. It, it worked with my own shoulders. It worked with my wife's chronic migraines. So we know this information works. It works with the thousands of patients we've worked with over my 25 years of, of my career as well. I can't believe it's 25 years. Can't believe I'm that old. <laughs> However, it's a true singer. So if you're looking for more inf information, I put the link in the bio to the two Anatomy Geek series. I've also, oh, this is a really cool bonus. Yesterday, because we had a live studio audience here to do the two Anatomy Geeks, I actually took one of the individuals from the, from the group that was here at Evolution Fitness, one of the trainers here, coaches here. Vicky, I took her through an assessment. So I showed you the exact assessments I use with, with my clients. Not all of them, but the most important ones I use with, with my client. My clients with shoulder issues, I took her through the corrective exercises, the ones I use most frequently. Again, it's not every single one, but it's the ones I use most frequently. And then I showed how to progress your clients, how to in integrate this information into the functional pushing and pulling patterns so you understand how to use this information. So it's not just, here's some anatomy, hey, have a good life, go figure it out yourself. No, I'm going to show you exactly what we do with our clients. It's exactly what we do in our own workouts. It's exactly what we do with our clients. And... I put it together and it's a special bonus that we're giving just to the, our two anatomy geeks community nobody else is getting access to this besides our two anatomy geeks community and our integrated movement specialists so you'll see exactly how to apply this information that we talk about so you'll leave this module with understanding how to use this information to make bigger changes greater changes and even for clients that have been struggling for a long time so the link is in the bio look forward to seeing you this is dr evan osar with integrative movement insider thank you so much for being part of our community and allowing us to be part of your community make it a great day happy sunday and go out and be the leaders that your community needs we need more leaders that stand up speak strongly and with courage and go out and lead with integrity take care